Hey guys, it's Jo Cubing. Today, this is going to be my two log PLO tutorial. So today, I'll be te teaching you the uh, two log PLOs that I use. But before we get into that, I did make a mistake the other day in two log OLO. I forgot two cases, which is these two. But and I'm just going to go over them really quickly. So the way you recognize them is that they have headlights right here and these two are pointing away from each other and this is its opposite. They have headlights on here and these two point away from each other. So the way you do this is the same as this out on 3x3. Three three. So the way you do it is R, Q2, R2 prime, U prime, R2, U prime, R2 prime U2 R and the way you do this one is R prime U2 prime R2 U R2 prime U R2 U2 prime R prime so the first step in to look PLO is orienting all your edges so you can either have this case where uh, they have to go in a cycle like this, this case where they have to go like that, or this case where there's two that are flipped and these two are flipped. So the way you do these cases is that if it has to go in the cycle like this, all you have to do is do a T perm. Or if you don't want to use that, you can use this algorithm R2 U2 R2 prime U R2 U2 R2 prime and the way you do this one you use this alg R2 U2 prime R2 U prime R2 U2 prime R2 and then this one is requires basically an elk to do. Uh, the way you do this is that you put any one of these pieces in front of you, but I'm going to use this as an example purposes. And you do the beginning of a J perm, then you cancel into a T perm. And that solves all. Then lastly, there's this case where these two edges are messed up and these two these three need to be oriented so what I use sorry that was my mistake you can use a J perm to solve these make them go to the right and um, and that's the, basically the same as the inverse of the Y perm okay let's get right into one of the hardest cases in Tulip Pilo. These are both the five corner soft cases and uh, the algorithm is not really that hard, it's just the recognition. So this first case, the way you will recognize it is that this corner goes here and this corner goes up to this very top. If you see it from this angle, this corner goes here and this corner goes here, so that's not correct. And the way you would do this is R2, U2, R2, prime, U, R2, U prime, R2, U, R2, U prime, R2 prime, U, R2, U2, R2 prime. And then there's this one. You actually do the opposite of the, well, on this one. You will recognize it by this going here and this going here. Not the other way around when this goes here and this goes up there. So you would hold it from this angle and do this R2, U2 prime, R2, U prime, R2, U, R2 prime, U prime, R2, U, R2 prime, U prime, R2, U2 prime, R2 prime. Alright, these are going to be the five corner swap cases. Uh, and for these, I'm not going to be saying the 
uh, letters out. I'm just going to be showing the elk and have it up on the screen. Uh, this is what they look like. They're extremely easy to recognize. As you see, this one goes clockwise and this one goes counterclockwise. Uh, I'll start with the clockwise one first. Uh, the way I do this is basically two different variations of u perm. So uh, this is how I do it. And you do that twice. Then for the second one, you could do the inverse of this out where you do it from the back like that. I will show that first and then I will do uh, the one that I mainly use. That's how I do that one. But the main L guy uses this one. These are some more five corner saw cases, as you can see. And the way you recognize this is that this piece goes here and it goes in sort of a star shape. You just track the pieces like that and it goes in sort of a star. And then this one goes the opposite way where it goes there, here, that, there. And that's how I recognize this case. I watch how it goes and which way the pieces move. So I will do this case first. This one goes here. And the way I do this is this way. Then for this one, it is very similar to this elk, except you do this. Now for the last three, these are all just four corner swap cases. Uh, here's this one where these two swap and these two swap. There's this one where these two swap and these two swap. And then there's this one where these two swap and these two swap. So I'll be going over this one first. You can recognize it by these headlights. This is like a one of a kind case where it doesn't, uh, where it's the, pretty much the only case that has headlights and you just hold it like this. There's two different ways to do this out, but I'll show the first out that I use. That's the elk I use, and then there's a different one where you use where you do U twos and U two at first instead of a U. So it goes like this. So you can choose whichever elk you like to use, whichever elk you're more comfortable with. But I personally like the first one. So then there's this one, the way you recognize it is that these two swap, and that these two swap, and the way you execute the ALG is like this. It can be executed pretty fast. And yeah, and then for this one, this is basically just like an EPERM, except you don't do like the EPERM elk on this. You could do it, but um, I find it a little hard to execute with. Anyway. So the ALG I'd like to use is this one. 
So next we move three times and rotate back and finish it off. That's actually how I execute it. I do that. So next we move. And then I to use the thumb for the last two moves. Okay, uh, before I get into these cases, I actually forgot about these cases and I just remembered that while I was editing. So yeah, that was a brain blooper moment, but anyway, uh, these are the three corner swap cases. And uh, I honestly don't have the best Alex for them, so you could learn something, somebody else's Alex. But if you want to use mine, you can. If you don't, just learn somebody else's. So they just look like this. They basically are like eight perms. You can use commutators, but you can also use this ALG. And the way I execute it is that I see these headlights on the right, and I see that this has to go there. So the way I execute it is like this. So that's how I execute the first one. And the way I execute this one is like this. Okay, so guys, again, I did forget more PLOs. I'm going to go through these real quick because my card is about to run out of space. So the way you recognize this one is that this one goes here, this one goes here, and this one goes here. And then this one's just the opposite. This goes here, this goes here, this goes here. So the way I execute this is like this. Then on this one, you execute it like this. Uh, if you all have any other suggestions for me to do, please leave them in the comments. And I am about to hit 60 subscribers, so I'll probably be doing a Q&A for that. And yeah, uh, that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for all the support. This is Geo Cubing, signing go.